Okay, I'm gonna set this up for you. My hand fell asleep. Okay, now I'm gonna set it up for you. So back in 2015, 16, around that time, we had this really cute dive bar in Brooklyn. It was called This and That Bar. It was like the place where everybody went, you had cheap drinks, and by like 12, everyone was sloshy and like, ah. The stage was just kind of like this little cheap piece that just like kind of came out. It would just be surrounded by like a whole bunch of people. It's always like the regulars. And I just remember on our closing night, I was there with my drag house and we were wearing really obnoxious, colorful fur costumes. <laughs> Because we were like, let's be Harajuku. Oh my God, we're so kawaii, yes. But we actually just looked like Muppet rejects. It was blue and it had like all these little bows and rhinestones. <laughs> it had hot pink fur sleeve. And then it had like a hot pink fur, like something around the panty line. <laughs> She was a moment. I just remember I was performing Look At Me Now by Chris Brown, Buster Rhymes, and Lil Wayne. Because I can catch every single breath, word, and syllable in that song. I could even lip sync the beat if I wanted to. It was just so cool because I had performed it there probably so many times. Everyone in the crowd was kind of like singing the song as I was lip syncing it. And I was just thinking, wow, am I drunk? But these people really know these like 80 word sentences that are happening right now because I'm wasted. <laughs> it was just me kind of there, like just like going back and forth, like blah, 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 blah. and everyone's just singing it. I'm just like, wow, y'all are drunk. And I just remember looking at the floor, it was wet ceiling was basically falling apart and I was just like this is like my drag this is where I basically started to do my shit it was also after filming season nine so I was like coming back from this stressful experience hit rock bottom can't tell no one I'm like oh my god I disappeared for a summer and now I'm back and now the bar is closing people were just like crying in the audience too we were that drunk there was definitely a massive boot hug after the number. Then I just threw up all over the stage and looked at it and was like, wow, I love Brooklyn. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Wouldn't that be great if I did though? <laughs>